Hello and welcome to Star Stable The Summer Riders, the last game in the series. Let's not waste time, let's just get started uh, with the game. I'm actually kind of excited to see this game because I don't really remember anything from it. Uh, I have heard there's a lot of easter eggs, so it's gonna be good. Summer, warm days have finally arrived in Jorvik. The sun sends uh, its warming beams dancing across the ripe fields and blossoming meadows. The summer breeze sweeps uh, in from the sea, soothing man and beast, hard-working farmers, lazy dogs, sneaky cats and horses. School is out and the seemingly endless summer vacation has just begun. There is no more homework, no more dusty history classes with Miss, Mrs. Corkwood or mind-numbing science <clears throat> oh god, no, this is a bad timing. Or bad numbing sci science experience with, with Mr. Flagstaff. Just day just day after day of working with Herman, who runs Jorvik Stables, riding and caring for the horses, life simply couldn't get better. Then Coyote arrives. He is Herman's brother and he's decided to come home after two decades out west, where he has been a professional rodeo performer. Now he plans to build a western-style riding park in Jorvik, and he wants your help! Soon there is a uh, fierce activity on Jorvik's nor northwestern pe peninsula. Yep, and that's where it ends for me. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to read it yourself. Okay, so Coyote. I don't need the tutorial, as always. What is this? Why is this hanging here? What? What is this? Oh, it's my clothes! Am I gonna get this for free? I hope so. Are, are there stats on them? Hmm. Welcome to Coyote Ranch, Eleanor. I'm really glad that you could make it. Herman tells me that you are quite a tiger when it comes to getting things done and that you've helped him a lot at Jorvik Stables. Before we start, we need to get you fitted with some proper cowboy dude dud, duds. <laughs> if we're going to put on a show, we'd better make uh, sure we all walk what the walk. We all walk the walk? Okay. So the clothes are mine, right? Yep, they're mine. Okay, so the the theme for this game is apparently western riding. Whoa, looking like a true cowgirl. It makes me think of good times out on the trail, but no time for dreaming about the past. Uh, let's get to work. What is the work you're talking about here? Uh, Herman warned me that you were going to be very partic per particular about caring for your horse. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where he got that from. So I bought a new brush and bucket for you. They're over by the stable door. Okay, we get a free brush and bucket in this game as well. That's good. Why did I have to buy it in the first one? So you found them. I hope you like them. I wouldn't want to disappoint my newest employee on her first day. No, you sure wouldn't. Now, let's get you in the saddle. There's going to be a lot of riding. I'll need your help all over the place and I need to, uh, I need you to be able to get back and forth quickly. Uh, why don't you try Old Faithful? Oh, is the horse called Faithful? Is it not called Bella? I'm planning on using him for some of the classes. Oh, so it's a boy now. It's a, it's a stallion. He's called... What was it called again? It was called... No, this one is called Bella. What are you on about? I'm so confused. <laughs> there you go, looking good in the saddle. But I've got more tests for you before you uh, got me convinced. Okay, one more test. Uh, this is a little trail that I've made uh, that runs around the ranch. I've got a time in mind and I want you to beat it. Show me what you can do. Okay, I'll do it on this horse that is not called what you said it was called. It's called Bella and it's a girl, apparently. What did he say it was called? Faithful or something? I, I Why do I have such short-term memory? You've discovered Coyote Ranch. I already discovered it. Or was it like Coyote Stables? I don't know. I've only got one star, so that's the first place I've discovered. Weird how I did discover it when I was literally in the place. No, but in all seriousness, I think they probably just forgot to change the name of the actual horse. I think this one is supposed to be not Bella, but uh, that other name that Coyote said that I don't remember what was. Faithful? I think I remember it was Faithful, but my memory's not always the best. Okay, I cannot wait to get a new horse already. Whoa, that is a big scarecrow. Look at that big scarecrow. 
I've never seen such a big scarecrow in my life. That's something way bigger than what we've seen on, for example, Jasper's farm and stuff. That's where we have the scarecrows, right? In SSO. That's big. Well done, you beat the time I set for you and then some. Uh, and, and, and an old faithful. It was faithful, okay. I actually didn't think he had it in him, but he sh uh, you sure got his best. Uh, I think I want you... I think I want you to train all of my horses. As you get more experience with the western riding, I teach you a camp. I'll make sure that the stables around the camp lend you their horses for training. This race is great for speed training. Uh, yeah, we leveled up. But what exactly does it mean by that? That we, we get to lend people's horses from around this part of Jorvik? Does it mean that this particular horse is like supposed to be a new one for every single staple we visit or I, I don't know what it means does it mean that we don't need to buy a new horse if we're if they're gonna lend us their horses why do we have to buy it I don't know Ooh, okay meeting Linda I want to do that Eleanor, it's great to see that you're off to uh, Flying Star here at Coyote Ranch. I think Linda might need a hand. She's down by the paddock getting it ready for barrel racing. She's always by paddock, isn't he? He? She? Herman told me that all the stables here at Jorvik post the chores that need to be done in the stables on notice boards. I've arranged for a notice board here at the ranch as well. Have a look and you'll see what I've got in mind. Okay, so let's see the notice board. What does it have to say? Here it is, the notice board. Check it regu regularly for chores to perform at the stables. No rewards for idle hands. Okay, we can do we can do one round. Just like check it out. Check the prices of the horses and the stats of the horses. Yeah. Alright, so is the bug still active? The water still works. Does the food still work? The food also still works. That's great news. I don't need to take care of my horse then. Now look at this. 6,000 and good stats in the starter stable. Just like the last game. Although these stats are not that impressive actually. The one in the last game was more impressive. So who knows. Maybe we're gonna stumble upon an even better horse. Now how much do we get paid? Not that much. Oh well. At least it's something. I forget that we have these clothes. I have to put them on to get a little bit more stats. All right, so we're gonna go see Linda. She's right down here. You've discovered a uh, Coyote Ranch paddock, okay. Hi, Eleanor. Coyote told me that he'd hired a new stable hand. It's great to finally meet you. Yeah, I met you three times before, Linda, plus Starsha and Legacy, but that doesn't count because we weren't us. As Coyote might have told you, he put me in charge of getting the barrel race course ready. Uh, we need three barrels for it. I think I saw some barrels in the woods behind the ranch. Would you mind taking a look? Well, you said you were responsible for it, so why do I have to do it? Hmm? If I'm the one doing the work, then you can't take the credit. But why are these barrels just standing out in the woods like that? That's kind of weird. Where do they come from? Nicely done. Three barrels it is. Now there's just one little problem. Oh, come on. Why do these things never go smoothly? Well, Eleanor, there's one thing I must confess. It was great that you got me the barrels, but I'm actually missing something else. I need a detailed plan for how to place the barrel so that the course meets the national standards. I think Coyote mentioned that he had one, so I had to go up to him to get it. Why couldn't you do that while I was out getting the barrels? Why are people so lazy in these games? That is my question. I have never once seen anyone do anything in these games. Hi Eleanor, are you helping Linda already? No? Oh. Uh, you need the plans for the barrel racing course? Well, let's see. I have a plan. Here it is, right where I left it. Please take the plan down to Linda so she can arrange the barrel racing course to conform the national standards. Alright. Uh, are we gonna get paid eventually for these things though? 
I have a feeling we won't, because we usually don't. The plan, great, and it has the official seal of approval from the Barrel Racing Association. Hmm, that's a nice title, the Barrel Racing Association. <laughs> Time to get started, why don't you take the barrels that you found in the woods and place them in the paddock so that they form a regular barrel race course. Okay, let's do that. All right, we placed the barrels, Linda. Are you happy now? Can we get paid? I think you are a decent soul, just like Kevin. So if you could pay me, that would be very nice. Well done, finally, Coyote Ranch has a paddock that can offer a genuine Western riding experience. Ooh, okay. I want to use the skill points. Command is pretty nice. So let's put like 50 there and then put the rest on riding. I see you're eager to try out the barrel racing course that we built. Go ahead, okay? We can always try it. Why not? Ooh! Okay, this is a system I'm not familiar with. So I just follow the... I have to follow the map thingy? I don't actually have arrows. Oh, okay. I do have arrows. Well, what's the map for if we can just follow the arrows? Hmm. Oh, the arrows don't pop up until after I've passed the barrel? I, I don't know, this is kind of confusing. I've never seen this one before. But it takes a while for the arrows to pop up. Anyway, it went smoothly. It shouldn't be too difficult to do this later on. Is barrel racing this, the final challenge as well? Surely must be since that's what we're starting with. That was pretty good. Uh, let me know if you want to try to beat some of the times that I've set for the ribbons. Remember, barrel racing is good for training your horse's strength. Do you have anything else? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's ribbons in this game. That's Wait, the last one is a medal. That's not a ribbon, that's a medal. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta find some new quests now, because we don't have any. So... Wait. We don't have any more quests. So we have we have to actually train a horse, because Linda and Coyote are the only ones who have quests for us. Really? Usually we get to do other things, but apparently not. Unless Coyote has something else for us, he could have. You never know. We could check. Hopefully. I don't want to do all the races now because then we don't have anything for the other horses. Oh, okay. Nice. The Lust Skulls. Mm -hmm. Hi there, Eleanor. Always good to see you. We've had a little mishap and I was hoping you could help me. The delivery truck was just here to deliver some Texas Longhorn Skulls that I uh, was going to use for the decoration around the ranch. But he lost them on the way and then refused to help me find them because he had an urgent delivery to make somewhere else. Can you help me? I guess. I, I would much rather do that than the races because I want to save the races. So yeah, sure. How do they build this scarecrow? It's so big. It's like five times the size of me. <laughs> and there's two of them. I didn't even see that. They're so big. Okay, one more, right? Or is it two more? It's, it's always like difficult to see to tell apart the shelters from the quest items. Where is it? I don't see it. They are hiding them so well, it's right here. In last game I mistook a salt pile for a... No, I mistook a shelter for a salt pile. Oh, here's a shop. Maybe I should buy something to get a little bit better stats. Um, ooh, professional- Wow, these are different blankets! <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy the blankets now anyway. Because I I don't have the right horse. Speed plus 20, that is an amazing hat. It, the game is set up so that I have to buy that hat, I assume. Alright, Coyote, I have uh, collected your skulls. I'm sorry, I was not supposed to crash into the lamp. I have collected your skulls and here they are. All five and not a single mark on one of them. Thank you very much. No problem. Skulls on the walls. 
Now that you've helped me find the skulls, I'd really appreciate if you could hang, uh, put, uh, put, uh, hang, hang, put them up. <laughs> okay, put them up as well. Could you hang them in the spots I have marked? Will you pay me? Nope. They never will. Right, so we're decorating the town with these things, right? Is this not where I'm supposed to put it? There we go. It's sometimes hard to use the items. Ooh, that looks cool. This is really turning into a western town, isn't it? I really love the kind of quest where we actually see a difference in the environment. Like, for example, I remember the quests in SSO. The garden quests, I actually like them, even though they take a long time to build reputation and stuff. I like them because I am actually making changes to the environment, like gradually. Like the garden goes from overgrown to beautiful, and I, I do one garden at a time. So I actually like those quests. <laughs> Who would have thought? Good work, this place is shaping into a real ranch, nice. Delivery. Okay, Eleanor, thanks for the help with the Longhorn Skulls. That was awesome work. As I'm sure you can understand, I've lost faith in the delivery company. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I was hoping you could take these materials to Emma... To Oh god, Emma Twitchita. Twitchita, okay. That's how I'm gonna pronounce that. I hope that's right. Uh, at Snakebite Lodge. She's working on the first TP for the National American Camp. I don't know what a TP is, but there's no other way to pronounce that. A TP. Probably, I will figure it out. Okay, that's a long way to go. Should I end the episode now? Okay, you know what? I don't think I've slept in a house at all in these games. Well, I did uh, in Hillcrest, I did. But I haven't really slept in a house in a long time, so let's actually sleep in a house and not in a shelter for once. Oh, okay. So there is no house. I have to sleep in a shelter in the town. All right, I will save and sleep. I will see you next week when we continue the journey in Star Stable, the Summer Riders. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.